Today's topic is the 14 plus days of fish apocalypse. Hey everyone, so today's video, I'm just gonna be doing a bit of a chat with you guys. Now this video is a bit of a follow-up to I got a community tank for zero dollars. Um, I'll put it in the iCard and I will also leave it down below. So if you haven't seen that yet, please go check that out first because it will make this video make a lot more sense. So to start my community tank, at the time that I made that video was wonderful. Like it was, it was a beautiful community tank. Everything was going perfectly. Um, I think I had it for about three weeks when I made that video and everything was going great. And in it, I had eight guppies. Um, I believe it was six females and two males. And then I also had a male beta named Monkey. I am now at four adult guppies, two fry, one cardinal tetra, and no beta. And I'm gonna tell you about how that happened. So it all started off when I decided that I was going to go and buy some cardinal tetras. So when I added the cardinal tetras to my tank, um, immediately I noticed that one had kind of segregated themselves from the rest of the school. And so I just kind of assumed maybe it was stressed out. Then I couldn't find him. And when that happened, I just kind of assumed that he had passed away. And I knew that even though I couldn't find his body, I knew that it would show up probably within the next day or so. And then I found that the next day, another Cardinal Tetra had ended up uh, going missing. And I still hadn't found the body of the first one. Now, I did end up finding the Cardinal Tetra's body about two or three days later the six i bought one survived and he's been surviving for a while because all the cardinals pretty much died within the first like three days but then it started spreading to the guppies the guppies that i had um one of them a male named asteroid i noticed that he was starting to separate himself from the group when all my guppies schooled together as well i was getting worried of course that he was gonna die too he ended up next day back with the school and then i couldn't find him ever again so he went was sick then was happy and then the next day i couldn't find him ever again then the next day i came home from either school or work not really sure monkey was just lying on the bottom of the tank dead and monkey was literally fine yesterday because i had uh well like the day before he died because i had literally like combed my tank looking at all my fish like i was even using a flashlight checking for velvet like everything and so i was a little distressed about it and even though i knew i shouldn't be i still was because um for me my channel is called better beta and if i'm killing off bettas <laughs> what does that make me it's like better that exposed now after monkey had passed away every one to three days i'd lose another guppy and so that's pretty much where we're at now um now i am at the dollar tree and i'm gonna go run my errand um but i will uh kind of do the conclusion and the wrap up and but that is what i'm gonna do when i get back so i will see you in a bit so the reason that i am decided to go to the dollar tree and also look at the push pins here is i have a plan to make a collage in my fish room just on a corkboard of photos of all of my past and present fish. So the one reason I'm doing it, of course, is just because I care about my fish and so I thought it'd be nice to just have some photos of them in my fish room. But another reason that I thought would be good to do it is just kind of as a shout out to my YouTube channel. I don't have anything directly related to my YouTube channel in my room except for my fish, so I thought a collage would be a good way to do it. I believe at the end of the day I will still have a community tank just because I can still keep my other 20 gallon tank alive um, and my my two bettas that I have, Campbell and Trinity. You can't um, can't predict anything. The fish hobby is very unpredictable, uh, just due to the fact that you know you're dealing with so many lives. But yeah, that is all for today. Um, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more uh, like more videos from me um, about the tank, good or bad. Um, and also, if you like this kind of style where I just kind of talk to you while I'm driving then let me know because it will give me the ability to upload more often simply due to the fact that I don't really have to take time out of my day to film these videos because I literally just put the camera on my dash and then I can drive home. So um, they're a lot easier to film. So you might be able to see more videos more frequently if you like the style. But if you don't, don't worry, I won't be offended. Um, but that is all for today and I will see you next time. Gotta go to work. Bye.